Hey guys, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. I have a video request from a member. Okay, Debbie, this is how I would recommend doing what you're looking for. And please understand, I'm not taking time to get exact measurements. Um, but this is kind of going to be, let's do two and a half. Okay, so we're going to go two and a half to about five. Just keep the edges even, you know, like your borders. Okay, object, duplicate. Going to put it down below. Okay, and we're going to move it down. Okay, we're going to give it an even edge on the bottom. And you're going to be surprised that these kind of do. I'm going to move this down a little bit too. These kind of do come out even at the end. Okay, so now I need to group those two boxes. So I'm just going for the two boxes, not the big one. Okay, I need to group them because we're going to apply a path function. Okay, so that path, you can only have the two objects in there. So we're going to do a back minus the front. Okay, so we're going to subtract these, take these away when, okay, all right. So now we have that. Now we want to add the words. We're just going to use elephant. Okay, that tech, that font. We'll do second, oops, helps if I could spell. Let me move this out of the way. Second grade welcomes. Uh, okay, I think that was pretty close to the, okay, now we're only going to use, okay, I got to mind my borders, got to be mindful of my borders. Okay. I need to bring this down because that's given me my, <laughs> my equal to line, it doesn't like to go past that. Okay, I'm remembering what my borders of thickness is, so, all right, and this is my other one. Okay, I think we even have to back this up a little bit. Yep, now I'm equal with my D. Got to group those two. Okay, so I got to group object, group that. And that's sitting on top, so we're still good. We can do another path function, which is back minus the front. So we're keeping the back, subtracting that front from it when it decides to work. Come on. Please don't shut down on me. Okay, so there's that. Now we're going to worry about these two. Okay, this is actually the easy part. This is just going to be a union. Okay. So you, you have all the, the, the fonts, the words, it's just how do you add them to get them all together. Okay, you just do that at separate times so that you can capture each of them correctly. Ooh, got a little crazy there. Yeah, let's take, let's just bump that up. There we go. So now I'm going to highlight it all path and I do a union so that everything stays together when I get to my scan and cut. Wait for that to work. If it doesn't look right I can undo it and adjust all my letters. Okay let's add some color. So don't save it if you're not or don't export it if you're not happy with it. Okay so like here I could come in and I could fix the N if I did not like the way that that looked. So that is how you will do a file just like this. And note, that is trimmed out behind there, okay? So there is nothing left in the back there, okay? That is how you will do a file just like that, Miss Debbie. Thanks for your question. I hope you enjoy this. Uh, I hope you all have a good day. Um, if you have any questions, you can find me over at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scout Help on Facebook. Thanks, guys.